Well, syncope is a condition um, where people pass out or they lose consciousness. And uh, the definition per se is, is a, a sudden and brief loss of consciousness um, that's associated with a loss of postural tone. So when people are standing, they actually collapse to the ground. If they're sitting, they slump over. And then after that happens, they spontaneously uh, awaken um, in a relatively rapid fashion. Syncope has to do with a, a change in blood pressure. So, you know, if the blood pressure goes down, then the heart's not, can't pump blood to the, to the brain. And if the blood, the blood doesn't get to the brain, that's what causes people to pass out or lose consciousness. I, I would say that if a patient uh, passes out for the first time, and certainly if they have trauma from passing out, head lacerations or a broken hip or something like that, they've got to seek uh, immediate uh, medical care. If they have a known cardiac condition, if they have known heart failure or a prior heart attack uh, or someone's told them that there's something wrong with their, their heart, either by EKG or ultrasound or catheterization, then those patients are at risk for a sudden death and they need to seek immediate uh, medical attention. Believe it or not, it all comes down to uh, history and physical. Um, that's been shown time and again to be the most useful uh, evaluation in determining either the cause of the passing out or in determining what the appropriate next test is uh, for that patient. And so you really need to get a detailed history in order to sort out um, whether A, it's, it is a heart condition or whether it's a neurologic condition. And then if you determine it is a heart condition, uh, then teasing the details of the history out either by the patient themselves or sometimes by an eyewitness because the patient can't remember all the details is very crucial. If we think about uh, passing out, we think about it in four categories and, and the most common reason people pass out is the simple faint or what we call uh, vasovagal syncope or neurocardiogenic syncope. And, and that's uh, something that everyone's heard about where, you know, if someone's in a marching band on a hot day and they feel like their knees are going to give out um, and, uh, and then they end up passing out. And those patients are typically younger patients that don't have any structural heart disease at all, have a normal EKG, and it's just an abnormal reflex between the brain and the heart that causes them to lose consciousness. And, and uh, the good thing about that is that, you know, if we diagnose that by history most of the time, Sometimes we can do a test called a tilt table test where we lie them flat on a table and tilt them up and measure their blood pressure and pulse. But if they have that condition, it's a, it's a benign condition and they're expected to, li to, to live a life as long as someone that doesn't pass out at all. Um, and treatment for that condition is typically recognize that it's coming on. Uh, people get warning signs such as uh, sweatiness or dizziness or a flush feeling. And if they take a, a lying down or supine position, as soon as they feel that coming on, they won't pass out. So that's the most common cause. The other causes, uh, particularly in elderly patients, uh, are drug-induced uh, diuretics, patients that, uh, drugs that cause people to urinate out fluid, or blood pressure medications um, can cause, uh, 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 in the elderly specifically, um, passing out spells uh, by what we call orthostatic hypotension, and that is uh, you get a common history from older patients that when they uh, stand up after, uh, after going to bed, you know, waking up in the morning after, when they stand up in the morning, um, that's when they get dizzy or they pass out. That's uh, any change in position like that is called orthostasis. Um, and those two categories, the simple faint and orthostasis, uh, are not, are not life-threatening. What we do have to uh, really worry about are patients that have either a really slow heart rate or a very rapid heartbeat uh, or structural heart disease by ultrasound. If there's a valvular abnormality or very uh, thick ventricles, then uh, those are conditions that uh, are what we call cardiac syncope coming, originating from the heart. And those patients have uh, potentially high uh, uh, death rates if they're not appropriately diagnosed and treated. Once you've made a diagnosis, um, you know, treatment can vary from uh, just uh, 
drink more fluids, eat more salt, uh, to a defibrillator, which is a device that potentially can save the life from a dangerous fast event, um, and everything, everything in between. So um, for you know, a very slow heart rate, we consider a pacemaker. For a very rapid, dangerous heart rate, we consider a defibrillator. For the simple faint, it'd be sort of salt and fluid initially, and then and some pills. For patients uh, that are elderly, where it's drug-induced, we would either back down on the dose of the drugs or uh, eliminate the drugs uh, in full. Um, and so there's a myriad of, of, uh, of treatment options. But the important thing is to get, make the right diagnosis first.